Hello, and welcome to the Adventures of Siberia. We are playing Space Engineers, and this is Agaris, the water planet. Welcome back, guys. Super stoked to have you guys here. The Stone Piercer, aka the Big Bro, is working wonderfully. I have more iron than I know what to do with, and uh, I am super excited because we got a lot of building to do here. Uh, the one problem that I have is our barge, it, uh, it, it, it's gonna need a little bit of surgery. Since we upgrading our mining game, uh, this platform here is just barely long enough to fit the big bro. Um, the gate will not close with him on top though. So, like I said on uh, two episodes ago, I was thinking and I had this idea of turning this, um, the bargy into a uh, floating garage kind of thing. How cool would it be if I could move the uh, stone, uh, the big bro around on here, right? And when I park it on here, it has its own refinery, so it's processing the materials. Um, if it has cargo space so that we're storing all of that material, it would be awesome to just take the barge, drop it off somewhere. I can even come back and remote control into um, the, the stone piercer and be able to go mining and collect the materials and everything. And whenever everything is ready, I can just bring my yacht over and go collect it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm excited to do. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, well, first things first, right? Um, I already went ahead and I put this lip on the side here I'm gonna remove this end and uh, I wanna start setting myself up with some stairs. So I'm gonna change the way this docks a little bit on my game plan here. So I want this here to have the landing gears. Right now what we're doing is the gate has the landing gears, this is kind of free flowing and then the boat just kind of goes off that end. So what I'm gonna do is redesign this connection point here a little bit. I want that to have its own flotation. That way it's always at the same level to connect to the boat and the boat can drop it off real easily. And we're still gonna have this articulation here and I wanna extend this out by another two uh, hydrogen tanks. So another one on each side and somewhere in the middle here, I'm thinking of putting that refinery. So I'm gonna get started by putting these ladders here. And um, I think I'm in creative, am I? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Here, let's go into creative and delete this and uh, out of creative and redo it. So you gotta be fair, right? I didn't even have materials. All right, let's get some materials. So I want two set of stairs. I'm gonna start with two of them on each side here. Um, right here. One, and then one here. Okay, let's weld these guys up. And my idea up here on top of the barge is I want this to have uh, two levels, right? And then a covering. And the reason I want two levels is because on the second floor here, I want to set up some catwalks. That way when I park the uh, stone piercer here, I can, um, you know, it's easier to jump around and move around it in order to weld things and fix things and whatnot. So kind of like this. So I want to start off with some stairs. Uh, let's start on this side since I got this one. Oh, it was right. So right about here. And let's place one of those. And then I think I'm going to place my buttons right there because that's what we're going to need. I want to place um, lockers. So I kind of want to make this little area here look like, you know, it's it's a little garage type vibe, you know, your tools. I wish we had some toolboxes and things like that to place down. Um, 
that would be kind of cool in this environment. Um, so let's do one of those. Um, maybe two of those on this side and then shelves on here. So I'm just gonna go with the basic level one shelves because we're that's all we can weld up anyway. Uh, what do I need? I need stuff for this. Give me stuff for this. There we go. And um, over here, since we're gonna have another tank, I can actually extend this out and make it a little longer, which gives us even more walking space. And let me get up here. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm gonna have another tank, so that's two, and then I assume the curve is gonna be around here somewhere now so it'll be about this long and then the piston not the piston the hinge will go about right here in order for us to uh, connect to the yacht anyway so um, yeah let me see here let me get my tools let's weld these guys up just so they're out of the way yeah oh and this is exactly why I need to make this barge bigger oh yeah 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 here we go with the falling in the water again um okay so that's two that's three four that's fine let's go with the stairs here the other side um i have the left the right side let's go with the left side this time uh place you right about here and i want it in black okay cool there we go perfect do i have stuff to weld all of these now i think i do Aha! There we have it. I'm gonna see what this is gonna look like. We need some stuff for this guy. And we need stuff for this guy. Do we have everything for you? We need computers and we need stuff for. Come on. We're good with those. All right, let me get the parts. And, um, all right. So this is kind of what it's going to start looking like here. So I want to repeat this here on this side with the exception that instead of a buttons, uh, we don't need two sets of buttons. I'm going to put a chair there. So be right back. Let me get that done. All right. So there we have it. Um, we got the stairs. I went uh, with the two shelves in the middle locker at the end and I changed this side to the same thing. Two shelves in the middle locker at the end. But this brings us to our next step here. So I need some catwalks. And what I want to do is set them up at the top here. Let me grab some parts for catwalks, perfection. And here I want to set the, yeah, these here, the half, so that we have railings on the left side, just like so. And boom, this is going to be pretty, pretty cool. So my idea is to be able to work on a rover from up here. That way I can reach and do what I got to do without having to place blocks around for scaffoldings and things like that. Just make life easier in regards to this particular rover. Uh, so there we go. We have these here. Uh, I'm going to place some on the other side and uh, I want to put railings all the way around here as well. So let's see here. So for example, here I could go with one of these. On the outside, I can place more there. Um, let me see if I can reach them. So for example, I can use the back of the desk there to hold it, and then I'll have one here, just for looks really. And there, and uh, I can even go one more. Oh, I'll have to place that one up there. Very cool. We're starting to take shape here. I'm liking the way this is. It looks like a little, you know, like a little mechanic shop kind of vibe, which is kind of what I'm looking for, really. Anyways, let me set the side up here and I'll be right back. All right, all right, we're looking good so far. Check this out. We can reach up here and do what we gotta do. Um, I did miss a couple little railings here. I wanna place some right at the end here. Look at that, this is gonna look nice. Nice and sharp, I like it. Um, Anyways, I gotta start working on putting the roof over this place. 
and I, I kind of want to do a thin one. I don't want this to be super heavy. Uh, after all, it's the, the Yahtzee is pulling it now. Um, you know, just for the record, the way I see it, the Yahtzee is doing this temporarily right now. Eventually, we will have a large grid boat down the road that'll pull this a lot easier. Um, you know, the Yahtzee, it pulls it, but uh, you know, every time I put more weight on this thing, it's getting slower and slower in the water. So eventually, we're gonna wanna do something a little better. Um, anyway, so what I was thinking here, let me get some more materials. I need some blocks, because I think I'm gonna have to go on the outside there and do some scaffolding work. Um, I had placed the these railings right there and I don't need them up there so what I'm going to do let's see what I can do here I'm gonna have to do this to both sides um, the moment I cut this railing then this whole thing that I'm standing on will fall so that and then oh, these are so difficult to place sometimes um, and then a straight one of these and then the roof is going to go up there so I'm going to make it on both sides here and um, okay let's place a block right there that way I can cut this one here and when that falls I can stay here oh it didn't fall cool whatever um, let's see give me the one I want this one so that's going to be uh, the support for our uh, roof here. So I'm gonna do this to the other side and I hope these weld easy. Yeah, the large grid welds a lot easier. The small grid of these are horrible to weld. Okay, let's get out of here. Very well, the rain has come in and it's raining pretty hard now. But um, I got the sides done, so we're good with that. And uh, I wanna start setting up the top section of the roof here. And the way that I'm gonna do this is I need to get up there first off. So let's see, can I place anything here? I cannot, but I can place something there, All right? Cool, yeah. And then something here. So my idea is to create like a little lip that's gonna go right on top of this block here. Come on. Jesus, finally. Ugh. All right, um, if I can place another one. There, there. The staircase ends here, so I'm gonna thin it out right there actually. So one, two. And then we're gonna go with these guys, the little thinny ones, like so. And these here, um, they're just gonna be a little lip, really, that holds up the the rest of the roof, just so they can connect properly here. What? Come on. Oh. There you go. And then here, and there we have it. So the ones that I wanna place here are these guys. And they work as a half to another part here. And I want the square ones, these. It's not these, these, maybe these, not these. Nope, these guys, yes. That's what I'm looking for. So we're gonna have them here. Come on, plug it in. Plug it in. There we go. Those, let me get back on this side of the scaffolding here. And now I want their counterpart, which is these guys, and they can go all the way up and then square it off like so. Uh, I'll have to go on the top there to place those. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this side here. Let me step back so you guys can take a quick look at that. So that's kind of gonna be our ceiling there, our little roof that we got going on. So let me go ahead and do that on this side. All right, so here we go. Everything's welded up. I gotta climb up there and uh, 
I want to set up some lights. Uh, we definitely need some lights here. Um, so also the other thing that I want to do here is I want to extend this out one more block. Um, I think it needs to be a little bit longer. The gate is going to be occupying this block here. So we'll have one block, two blocks uncovered before we get to it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to add those here and another set to that side. And um, but first, let's go ahead and start adding the middle section here because I need to add some lights around here to make things a little easier to see. Um, let's go with one of these here. Can I place you there? No, I cannot. Is this a is this a joke? Is this a joke? How do I get up there? I thought this would plug in there. No? Okay. I guess not. I guess not. All right, let's climb up there and see what's going on. What can we place here? So these, uh, I see. They only do this little lip here. Um, give me some black. Let's go. There we go. And uh, so I think what I'm going to do is this in order to make this happen. I'm going to put a little bit of a little decoration here, kind of like I did on the end there just so we have a little connection point for these blocks um, here. So this is going there. This side gets one as well, like so. Uh, but here, right? Yeah, is this the one? Right there. Yeah, they're gonna be facing each other. Cool. Now on this side, we get some of these here. The, the inverted these guys yeah there let's jump and one here so now i get to do the little straight ones these guys right there here let's jump there there so what this allows me to do that i'm so interested in here is this it allows me to place a block that's facing down on each end here. And then I can place blocks on the inside and then I can have reverse blocks on there. Which means I can place uh, blocks uh, both up here and down there depending on which ones I want to at the time. So as of right now, let's just leave them at, at this. And I am going to go one more layer. You see, yeah, definitely. So let me see here. So the roof would be all the way up to here. Um, let's go ahead and thin this side out like that. And then one on this end there. Do the same thing here. I don't know how, but I'm gonna. Let's go this side, then this side. Now I can place a little square one here. Where is it? Boom, okay. So that's the center of these guys right there. I want lights and I want to place one of these right there and one of these right there. All right, I want to weld those lights um, because I need lights here that aren't from my suit. And let me get more steel plate so that I can weld more stuff while I'm out there. All right, let's get this going. A little easier to see that way. And this one. So there we have it. That's going to be our roof, uh, except for two more layers on the sides here. And uh, let me weld this while I'm out here. I think I'm going to reverse these colors. Um, I think I want to go with black on this side section here, like that, and then here as well. And then the yellow goes at the very end there, like here. So these guys up at the top would be yellow here. Come on, get on the block that I'm asking for. Not that one. This one, this one, this one. 
very cool oh i love it when things start taking shape um maybe i'll do that one all right whatever let me get down there and weld those lights yes we get lights we get lights awesome there you have it they might not be the best lights but they look cool and i'm going with them okay um for this specific situation anyway uh that's not where i wanted to put the block but does that work it should work oh yes there we go so now we got light here and uh, i'll add some ambient lights and things like that around here plus there's going to be other stuff um let me get to the end here and i need to fix this roof because we're going to go one more wide here right there with the yeah that's the one that's exactly what i was looking for boom and then the other one um okay it's going oh i placed that one wrong no that is not what i was trying to do yeah see these are up these are down that's not it. So now I gotta fix these guys here. But I think I can place these from here a little easier. Can I? There we go. That one there. You go there. Uh, let me get this side while I'm at it. Boom. Boom. Cool. Yeah, Here, and then when I go down, I'll take that one out with me. Um, here, we can put these little edges again. These guys. Now they'll fit where they're supposed to. And then the square one that makes my roof uh, a little bigger and I think it'll in the long run be a little better than what I wanted originally there so a little wider isn't a bad thing right all right so let's get these here weld it up oh yes oh yes there we go this thing's looking like uh I don't know let's get back to this section here so I want to change this whole neck thing here mechanism a little bit I want to make it to uh, where it, it moves a little better for the boat itself so I think it's time to get the barge and get it out of here and move it over there so I can maneuver around it and uh, not have it float away I need to lock it somewhere where it's not so close to the ground like that so can we just push p and get out of there is that close enough to touch the let's see number nine and then i turned it off right about here so it doesn't push us forward uh let's do this here so i'm moving it forward until those magnetic pads touch it and as soon as they trigger i hope soon there we go then uh, i can lock them by pressing number eight and this is where the bargee is going to stay for now while we're working on this whole entire end here. So what I want to do is go ahead and uh, detach this one. Whoa, I forgot that I was on top of it. <laughs> All right, let's move this guy out of here. So now we are free from the bargee. Hmm. Feels weird. It feels weird, bargee. It feels weird. The barge already made a hole here under the water. So there we go. Uh, park it. Are we locked? Yes, we are. Very awesome. Um, I don't need my engines right now. Let that go for a sec. Okay, cool. So my idea here, right? I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this stuff. I'm gonna, okay. We'll keep this 
Now I'm gonna put some torque on it because I'm gonna need to move it around and such. So let's go ahead and lift it up. I think this might do it. There we go. So I need one of those and then I need to, believe it or not, I need to lift it up again as high as it'll go. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Um, can I place anything here? I cannot. So I have to place under it. This is where it gets a little dangerous with the boat because I need to get in and out of it. And my ladder is all the way up here. Which might be a design flaw, if you think. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be moving this around and uh, in order to, we're already off the water. I can't release this, can I? Well, I'm doing it. I did it. I don't want to break anything, but I might. Nah, it's not gonna reach there. But I could lock it by putting a block in front of it. Okay, let me do that. Sometimes you just gotta engineer on the fly. So let's go ahead and put a couple of blocks here. Get this thing that's not supposed to be here. So I'm thinking this, block, block. Cool, got it. Let's go ahead and see if I can lock that on there now. So now I can come up here. Yeah, straight forward towards it. Touch it and Park it. Now we're parked. Okay, this should work a little better for me to place the blocks back here. So now I can do one of these, the curvy ones. I need a tank, hydrogen tank, right there. That's an oxygen one. Let's do a hydrogen. So that way this thing has its own buoyancy. So if I detach there, right? And then this side's attached to uh, the barge, which I gotta see what's the connecting point up there because we're gonna need one. That doesn't really matter actually. Yeah, let's go with the, uh, the part here. Um, rotor. Uh, I need an advanced rotor right there. Jeez, a hinge. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. Um, yeah, let's go with the part right here, like that. So that's how we're gonna attach to the barge. Uh, let me climb back up here, weld that stuff up and start setting that uh, tank to stockpile. All right, so there you have it. Um, I got this tank set to stockpile. Um, it's gonna fill up. I'm just gonna leave it here, let it do its thing. Once it comes back up, we'll go ahead and set it up to connect over here. So now we need to work on this section of the barge. Um, I need to remove the connector and all of these here and set up our refinery right there and also some cargo. So let me go ahead and jump in my character and let's get over there. Um, I think I can make this jump. Let's make that jump. Yes, awesome. Okay, so what's in here? I got a bunch of stuff here, I do. Let me go ahead and I just, I'm gonna throw them in this connector for now. That way I don't have to keep running back and forth. Cause I'm gonna be grinding some things here. There we have it. Let me get this connector. This here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these as well. The hinge part. And you, and you, and you. So we're going to need some tanks. We need another two hydrogen tanks because I'm gonna add cargo here. It's gonna need more flotation. Not only that, but this rover's bigger than the other one that was on here. So it would just make sense to have some more. Um, I'm also going to open up the middle section of the bargee here. So we're right there in the middle. 
and that's where all my cargo is going to go and uh, I plan on putting a rotor here in order to set up some cargo um, this block here is going to have to stay because it's what's holding the, the hinge together I don't think I'm gonna spend the time to change that around but I do want to go ahead and put a battery right here like so yeah let's put the, the, the things upward so I can see them um, so we are going to go all the way over here and uh, let me take a look there so I believe that that's where we're going to set up our new conveyor system there and here like so and then here I want a junction let's go ahead and go with what with one of these fancy fancy ones right there so now I can do the rotor here in the middle like that this is it's got to be an advanced rotor Bam. We can remove the head. No! I just ground the floor off from underneath me. Alright. That was fun. Let's place that there. Can I jump up there and, and grind that? Because I could place everything from here. No. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'll climb back up there. Alright. Let me get rid of this. And I need to cut that rotor head off. There we go. Now we're talking. We add small rotor head, lock it, and this is where we're going to add some cargo now. And I'm just going to go with the big ones on the small grid, like that. And these are the biggest ones that we have access to at this point. So let's go ahead and do three. How many can I fit here? Let's see how many can we get away with. Oh man. If I did this right. <laughs> Alright. I think I did a good chunk here. Let me go ahead and weld this stuff up really quickly so we can get to the hinges. Alright. We are looking good. This is this is awesome. Managed to get five cargos here. Battery. Two more tanks. Uh, once we connect the, the, the Yahtzee here, we'll start filling these up. I just want to make sure that this is on lock, rotor lock on. Correct. Awesome. So, the refinery, right? It's going right. I wonder if I should just place it right over the uh, this section right here. No, I shouldn't. I'm going to place it right there. Uh, uh, no, not too bad. So it's going to be right there, right in front. Uh, I'm also going to place another conveyor here. And this one's just mainly for convenience and, uh, you know, um, for the catwalks and such that are going to go on there. And then we're going to go ahead and place our actual hinge. Um, and uh, I made a mistake here now that I think of it. Actually, no, 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 no. I was going to say that placing the end of the hinge was a bad deal here, but for this section, it's actually not. It'll be fine. So our barge is going to be about that long, and uh, I can't not wait to get this done. So I'm going to go um, get some parts for the, the refinery and, um, and that conveyor. And also, I want to start setting up the catwalks over there so that we have a walking area as soon as we connect everything up. So give me the rest of these materials. Okay, so uh, in order to facilitate this here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just add my catwalks here so that I can just uh, not have to fall so bad <laughs> all the time. Um, let's see. Up right here have the stuff to weld you. I 
need motors. Oh, I'm scared that I might not have enough. I just need this here to work though. Come on, weld it up. All right, let me see if I got enough stuff for these guys. And then um, after that, I'm gonna connect them again so that we can, so I can start filling those. What is going on? Why can't I move? There we go. So we can start filling up the tanks uh, with hydrogen. Um, all the generators are on the Yahtzee and uh, that's the only way that we're gonna collect hydrogen into those tanks on the bargy. And speaking of bargy, I wonder if that's what I'll continue to call it. Perfect. I'm gonna park the bargy over here. I'm um, sorry, the Yahtzee over here and um, connect these two. And after that, I'm going to pick up the stone piercer, put him up here, make sure everything is fine and dandy so we can carry him good to go. And uh, I wanna head over to Jimmy's shack down the river and go check out that road that was over there and go see what we can find. I know it leads to minerals. I don't know what kind of minerals are over there though. It means it filled up, it's rocking and eroding. Awesome. So if I can just line these guys up, get it to connect and start towing this, then we're in business. Other way, there we go. Let's line them up, line them up nice and easy. I think this would work, let's see. Fingers crossed, uh, save, save, quick save, quick save. Um, attach, not you, you, attach. Yes, 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 look at this. Switch lock switch lock and you can be turned on again uh reverse 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 there we go very well very well so what i need to do next is to set up my connector up here and i think i'm gonna do it right there well yeah it's gonna go right here get some more materials um let's go ahead and get ourselves some catwalks here because we need a we need a we need to make this fancy now this goes there you get painted there can we get another one there no um so i was having an issue with collisions on the sides here i think i'm going to do something a little different than my original plan and um and the reason is, like I said, the collision points there where the the hinge tried to fold, tries to fold up into the the catwalk, and I get some collisions that way there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to leave this hinge alone if I can, to be honest with you. So for example, if I could go with um, a couple of these, let's say, right? Let me get these guys come on so if I did that on the under section of it uh, oh man I hate this part of the game <laughs> can I climb out there yes there we go so let me get more catwalks here because if I fall off this thing one more time I just might lose it I just might so let's not lose it. <laughs> here we go. Uh, I want to set up some railings on these guys here, and I'm hoping that these catwalks will attach to that. So I would have the double railings ones right there. Right there. Come on. Connect. There. And then here. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I'm gonna set up these guys, but with the railing on the side there. And also, I need to set up this conveyor already, this connector. 
because I can start pulling parts from here, making my life a little easier, which I should have been doing for a while now. That helps. That helps a lot. If I can land on it. Yes. All right. Ah, sorry about that. Um, let me move the boat to a safer position here. So, like I said, we don't lose it. But look at this thing. It's looking awesome. It's huge. Definitely huge. But it would be just to, you know, drop it off somewhere and then come back. So, um, since the tide's high, I might as well just take advantage of this and park this right here because we're going to need to load up the, the rover after this. I might as well just do this now. That way I can get in and out from over here. There we go. And then I can, number nine, to drop it. Will it reach? Turn it off. Go forward slightly and to the side. Go right at the edge there, and boom. Cool, now I don't have to worry about floating away anymore. Um, but yeah, I was trying to put some blocks under here in order to make this happen. Um, under here and under there. But yeah, this already helps out a lot. This this helps out a bunch already. And then I can put other things here that I may mean, not need. So I think that the way that I'm gonna do this is, uh, I'm gonna do one of these and then reverse it. Okay. So it's gonna go right there, like that. So what I need to do is move that hinge again in order to get these guys going. So, how did I manage to place that? Almost there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, hinge. Let's go ahead and uh, turn you off. What happens? Oh, other, other way, other way. There, yep. Let's try it this way to where it clears that, hopefully. There we go. This might work. Will you, will you, will you, will you, will you? One, two, there we go. Can I weld this? I like this. Nice and smooth transition here. We can walk up here now. Finish welding these guys. I never got the parts for that connector. Did I? There we go. Hopefully I have enough. Oh yes, very awesome. I don't have enough. But the good news is this is connected and that has enough. Make me a steel tube. Make me steel tube. Make me more steel tubes. There we go. And voila, look at that. We are rocking it out. This works. This really works. I'm excited. I'm excited. I like the way this came out. This is gonna be pretty cozy to do things with. Um, I do wanna set up a couple of buttons here. Um, I wanna get the, the gate hinge and I want to do a on off. I want to do a reverse and I want to take these mag pads and switch lock. Also, nah, I'll, I'll worry about those later. Um, I want to set up some magnetic pads right under the boat here as well. All right. So now I got my mag pads. So I'll be able to lock the body of the barge first. And then the stairs, or, or the gate, I mean. Once the gate's set up there, then they, uh, you know, the rest follows. It's awesome. 
You know, I did forget one thing on it. When I drop it off somewhere, it's gonna need to refuel itself and, uh, and our rover. So it needs a way to do that. And I think that the best way to take care of that is going to be perhaps a couple of windmills. How about maybe that? And I can climb up here. Ugh. Difficult. Let's see. Maybe I can set up uh, a little corner one right here, like that. And then maybe a cylinder. Will it attach there? Why won't you attach? Oh, because I need parts. I need a big one. Cool. There we go. That could work. Then I can do something of this type here. Not that it's needed, but something like that. And then I can put a windmill up there. Yeah, let's do that. And there we have it. We are now complete. We got everything we need, everything. We should be good here, good to go. Take a look at this. We're good on this level. Man, I'm excited. This is gonna work, absolutely. Got everything we need here. All right, let's get the rover and park it up. Let's get our rover up here, ready to roll. This is gonna be so exciting. We finally get to go see what's at the end of the, that road, Jimmy Shack. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so awesome. There we go. Nice and slow. I, I, I'm at a weird angle here. I don't want to bang it up too much. I'm trying to be careful. Um, I love these pipes, but not right now. I need to see what's going on. There we go. Will it fit? It will. All right. This is one thing that I didn't think of too much here. And that is uh, camera angles. I'm gonna have to put some cameras here in order to see, make it easier to park. The other thing is center of mass is low. Gotta drop the wheels in order to connect. Boom. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, this is going to work. Mag pad me loose and uh, reverse. Oh, wrong button. No, stop it, stop it, stop that, stop it, stop it, reverse. Oh my God, that, that could have been bad. Switch lock, switch lock, there you go. I probably have the wrong group on here. I have to check that. Uh, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to be a little bit more gracious about it. Oh man, this is cool. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I should put on here. Uh, let's get those lights. And I think these are the classic spotlights, these guys, right? Are those on? Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and dim them out a little bit. I don't want them too strong, but I want them a little brighter than the other ones. Not that much, should be good. And um, garage lights. Wow, I can't type garage lights. There we go. So now I can just go over here, groups, garage lights on off of course we don't need them on right now it's daytime look at that look at that this is so cool i'm super stoked turn 
these lights off. Man, this feels good. This feels good. All right, let's hit the road, man. Let's get over to Jimmy Shack and uh, go see what's at the end of that road. baby let's go we are on the way look at this thing it's a beast you know for somebody who said they didn't want it to be too wide and they didn't want it to be too big look at what I did to this thing I love it though it's awesome this thing's to be so cool It'll be able to just drop it off and have all the stuff you need to go mining and pick up materials. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm digging it. Very awesome. All right. Jimmy Shack is about 11 kilometers straight down the river. I will see you over there. As we can see, we definitely move a lot slower than when we first started, but yeah. I mean, we are at 468,000 kilos now. So yeah, it's bound to be a little bit more, a little heavier, right? Uh, if I remember correctly, the road is up here on the left side. I see Jimmy's shack over there. So let's start making, making it over to the left side there. I wanna back up as close as possible to that road. Here we are. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support, guys. If this is your first time around my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are an old friend, just uh, hanging out and visiting, watching some videos today, please don't forget to hit that like button. Guys, we will find out what's at the end of this road on the next episode. You guys have a great one. Thank you so much for watching The Adventures of Siberia.